All right, so you've changed steering components. Now you need to align the front end. How are you gonna do it? Well, I'm gonna show you with a piece of string and a couple of garbage bags. All right, so you got the vehicle jacked up off the ground. You've got the jam nuts loosened for your, end, for your tie rods so that you can make the adjustment. Now, what are these plastic bags for? Okay, in order that, that the tires slip and turn easily and all the suspension relaxes, well, as a general rule, it needs to be on a special front end alignment table that all of that stuff moves, allows the front end to settle. At home, you can't really do that. So, these are going to make a very similar kind of device as what's on a front end alignment machine. It makes it to where the suspension will settle and that the tires will turn easily when you make an adjustment. So, take a trash bag. I like these uh, heavy duty bags. They're pretty well okay. Take you some uh, WD-40 or some kind of a spray lubricant. And just hose down the inside of each bag. And lay the bag out flat on the floor right underneath the tire. Nothing to it. You have a bag laid out flat under both steer tires. Now, next thing we're gonna do is get it off the jack stands. if you could hear that or not but it made a grunting sound and that was the suspension settling give it a bounce both sides and that should help to settle the suspension and to make the uh, tires roll out into the correct position all right so what's the string going to be used for the string is actually tied at the rear of the chassis and drug across the rear tire and up to the front tire to be able to get our alignment. This is how you do it while still keeping the steering wheel straight. And I'm probably gonna to have to have an assistant sit inside the vehicle and make sure that the steering wheel holds straight since I don't have a steering wheel holder here at home. All right, so what I've done is I've taken the string and I've tied it under the vehicle. It's not exactly easy to find a place to tie off under there, but I found a spot. Bring the string around and try not to get it let, let it get in a knot like I did and go across basically the center of your rear wheel and run the string down to the front of the vehicle. And now I just wrapped it around the uh, jack stand a few times to be able to hold the, top, the line tight and right in place. Trying to get you a good angle in here. Not easy. All right. So what you want to do is slide the string up to the tire just until it makes contact with the tire, whether that be the rear side first or the front side first. But this is kind of going to give you an idea of which way the tire needs to go in order to be towed in or towed out. So right now it appears that the string is not quite touching. I know it's hard to get you an angle there. There it is. It'll focus. But it's not quite touching the back of the tire there. But it's just barely touching the tire there. So that tells me that this side is slightly towed out. Man, that's hard to do. But I want to get you the best camera angle I can. 
So, what do you do now? Well, I need to take and lengthen the driver's side just a little bit because as we saw in an earlier video where I put the inner tie rods in, that equipment is on the back side of this tire, so probably maybe a quarter of a turn out will have that string to where it touches the wheel. So let's crawl under here and see if we can do that. And no, guys, this is not exactly like taking it to a four-wheel alignment shop and getting a true four-wheel alignment. But it'll get you in the game and it'll get it to where it doesn't pull and it won't wear the tires out. All right, that is going to probably be in the perfectly straight ahead position. Now, when you check my steering wheel, because I bet it turned, I need to get an assistant out here and hold my steering wheel, probably. It turned, but not bad. It's still relatively close. Go just a little bit more. I've gone maybe half a turn, maybe something like that. Take your string, carefully bring it up there slowly. It needs to go just a little bit more. Just barely touching the tire there. Just a little bit of gap there. If I could quit bumping it with my head, that would be great. There we go. Carefully bring it up there to the tire. It's pretty much touching the back and the front. Really, it's really, 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 really close. It's touching the back just before it touches the front. And that is perfect. I hope this is making sense to you guys. By dragging the string, it'll give you a reference point as to how this wheel is pointing. You try to make sure that your steering wheel stays centered the whole time you're doing this process. If you can have an assistant come sit in the driver's seat and just hold that steering wheel to where it doesn't turn while you're making adjustments, that'll help you out a lot. We're going to go ahead, get set up, and we're going to do the same thing over on the passenger side. We have moved the string and jack stand around to this side and carefully I'll do it again for you. Looking right down the string, in my eyeballs and looking right down the string, and make sure the string's good and tight. Move, take the jack stand and just gently slide it over. This one's got four flat feet, so it slides really well. But just take it over until the string contacts the tire, either on the front or the back, whichever one it's gonna touch first. Just let it gently adjust stop when it touches it. Now, in this case, it's touching on the front side and it's still loose on the back side. So, this tire needs to be towed in just a little bit and this rod over here needs to be lengthened just a little bit. 
And that should get us to our initial setting to where then we can drag a tape measure and set the toe so that it's perfect. I think I went too far. Yep, I did. Not a problem. A little bit. Now, readjust our string and then we'll go in and check our steering wheel. That has it towed in just a smidge on that front tire, like 30 seconds, maybe two. Just pretty close to what you want. Two 30 seconds is like a sixteenth. So. Steering wheel still looks pretty good. All right, now it's time to pull out the tape measure and measure to see that you have the toe end set about uh, anywhere between 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch the most towed in. 1 16th about right. So you really want to have it towed in. And that compensates for any slack that's in the steering because when you go down the road and the drag of the tires, they pull and it'll have them going straight ahead. So a 16th is just enough that when you put the drag of the tires, they're pulling and going straight ahead. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick the tread in your tire that you're going to measure from. And you're going to use the same place on the front side of the tire and the rear side of the tire to get your measurement. And you may have to have an assistant to do this. And it doesn't matter what tread you use. On this set of tires, they have some nice circular rings going around the tire and it makes it easy to measure. Not all tires are going to be easy to measure doing it this way can be done, but it's just a little more difficult. These set of tires, really nice, nice concentric rings all the way around, make it easy to measure. So you pick your tire tread on the, on the, on that side over there to catch the tape measure in. And let's see if I can do it without an assistant. I think I can. It's not always easy. All right. I think I've got it where I want it. All right, and I've got my tread spot. I'm gonna mark, measure two over here, and that is from the center to the mark on this side. I'm using is 57 inches, right on the money. All right, now I'll measure this side. Take your tape measure, get it into the same, whoop, come on, right in the center, come on. All right, there it is. To this tread over here, assistant, would you tell, take a look over there and see if I am in the center? My assistant has left me. Come on. There we go. I think we're in the center there. That's more like it. Nope, that's not it. This is why having an assistant is sometimes useful. There we go. All right. And this side is right about 56 and 15 sixteenths. So it is towed in right at a sixteenth of an inch. All right, well, I believe that's got us dialed in right on the money. So the last thing we got to do now is tighten those jam nuts up and take it for a test drive. All right, so here we go. I 
watch out for you guys. Yeah, I think I may have missed just a teach on the steering. It looks like it is just a little bit to the right. But it's not terrible. I mean, I do like it to be perfectly straight, but I can live with it all that be 12.30 instead of straight up 12 o'clock. Here on smooth roads, I'm gonna sit and check it and see how it does. Hands off, completely hands off. This, little, this section of road here is pretty rough. Yeah, buddy, a lot of that torque steer is gone. Turn smooth. successful repair I'm happy with it I may go back in and try to tweak and adjust just a little bit more to go ahead and center that steering wheel up just a little bit better but it's it's drivable and it's acceptable the way it is in my opinion but as it is right now it won't wear the tires out and the car drives straight down the road so we have several more repairs we're gonna make on this Corolla coming up soon We've got an oil leak it's time to do the timing belt and there's no telling what else we're gonna run into and until I can get that video filmed, why don't you go watch one coming on the screen right now?